Today, I will show a method to represent an ambiguous object using a shadow instead of a mirror image. Here we have an ambigu ambiguous object which looks like a butterfly from these few directions. And when we rotate it by 180 degrees around the vertical axis, the appearance changes to a cherry flower. This is a typical example of ambiguous object made by thin curved surface. Uh, <clears throat> until now, we usually show this kind of ambiguous object using a darker background. This is because we want to hide the appearance in the um, shadow of the object. But today, I want to use the shadows uh, directly. So let me remove the black background and <coughs> use the brighter background color. Here we can <coughs> see the shadow of the object and it looks like a cherry flower, a cherry blossom. And the direct view of the object is a butterfly, but its shadow is a flower. This is a new way to represent an ambiguity, the change of the shape, like that. And if we change like that, the <coughs> butterfly and the cherry blossom change its positions, like that. Let me show one more example. This is a cat, but its mirror image is a bat. In order to make the cat more clear, let me uh, <coughs> make the background of the upper half only is black. Now the, we can see that the cat changes to the bat in, the, in its shadow. This is one method to represent or to enjoy ambiguous object without using a mirror. So the, this can be summarized by this. Uh, panel. Let me make the room lighter. Here we have an ambiguous object made by thin surface. And until now, we see this object from left or and right. And the uh, light appearance is mm, <coughs> enjoyed from the left if we use a vertical mirror. But today, instead of using the vertical mirror in the light side, we place a light source here and project the shadow of the object on the uh, disk surface. So the this shadow is equivalent to see the object um, silhouette from this direction and so we can enjoy the change of the appearance between the left view and the shadow. This is a way to represent an ambiguous object using shadow. And <clears throat> in order to make this possible, we have to use the ambiguous object uh, made by thin surface. Some of the ambiguous objects are made by thick or high tall uh, object. In that case, the shadow is not so clear because the um, side surface hide part of the <coughs> silhouette of the upper curve and so we cannot enjoy the um, ambiguity so clearly. So we have to use the very thin object only. But this is difference from the uh, multiple silhouette object. In one of my lectures, we show that uh, this kind of object, which has two 
um, different um, silhouette. Um, in this case, violin, in this case, trumpet. But for this object, we use the silhouette um, <coughs> and the cylinder. Yes, cylinders whose light section is a uh, um, desired silhouette. But in this case, we can make the object long, and still, uh, when we see the object directly and when we see its um, shadow, okay, make it more clear. Uh, in both cases, we see the object in the direction parallel to the axis of the uh, cylinder, and so we can make the object um, thick. However, in the case of um, ambiguous object, we see the same surface from two directions, and so if we want to enjoy the um, shadow shape, we have to make the object itself by thin surface. And let me show some more examples. This is a light facing aloe made by very thin surface. And in the <coughs> shadow, it faces towards left. And when we rotate it, the appearance doesn't change. Uh, the direct view faces to the right, and the shadow is facing to the left. One more example. This is a uh, fish always facing to the left. When we rotate uh, the, and its shadow, the fish faces to the right. When we rotate it, the direct view and shadow uh, doesn't change its positions. Okay, this is a way to enjoy ambiguous object using silhouette instead of a mirror image. Let me show some more examples. In the following examples, we don't need a vertical and support column and so a support pole. So we change the background. One of the class of ambiguous object is named the uh, reflexively fused ambiguous object, which uh, this is an example of that. When we see it directly, it is nonsense. But when we put it uh, on a horizontal mirror, the direct view and its mirror image together give a meaningful shape. And instead of mirror, we can use uh, shadow, like that. In this case, the direct view of the object and its shadow all together give the four marks of the card suit. And when we change the posture, the marks uh, appear in the upside-down posture. Another example is a fish in its shadow, the fish changed to bone. And in this example, the flying bird carry a fish, and the fish is represented by a shadow. This is a cat. Uh, trying to catch a fish in the river. The fish appears as a shadow of the cat. Another way of representing the object is like that. Here we have uh, appearance of a man in the direct view, but in the shadow it changed to a woman. When we rotate it, Similarly, a man in the direct view and a woman in the shadow. When we change it vertically like that, the man and the woman change their positions. The direct view is a woman and the shadow is a man, like that. 
In this way, we can enjoy the ambiguous object without using mirrors. We can use shadow instead of a mirror. This is a way of representing ambiguous object using shadow shapes. Finally, let me give a quiz. This is an example of the ambiguous object which looks like a cat in the direct view and a bat in its shadow. But this way of representation of an ambiguous object is a little mm, undesirable because the bat uh, shown by the <coughs> shadow is in the posture upside down. If possible, we want to see the bat in its normal position, normal posture. The head is up and the foot, foot are below. So the question is, is it possible to um, cast the shadow so that the bat appears in its normal posture instead of the upside down um, appearances in this picture? That's a question. Thank you very much.